and people that I respect who I believe done it the right way. And I, I've been lucky enough uh, to grow up with a lot of great role models around me and uh, just trying to find and listen to them as they, as they talk to me and then other people around the league who I feel like I've done it the right way and listen to the advice they give me and then trying to make the, the best informed decision uh, as far as uh, what I do and the next steps I take to move forward. Because like you said, I've been given this platform and I want to make sure that I can do whatever I can to make, make the world a better place in whichever way that is. Yeah, I, I'm definitely aware. I'm aware of, of everything. I'm aware of, of my surroundings. I'm aware of, of uh, coming off of a Super Bowl championship and being, being the quarterback of a Super Bowl winning team. But I, I've always believed in, in people and I've always believed in when people do things together and do things uh, for the right reasons and have a good heart when they do it, that things get done and changes change happens. And so that's how I've always, I've grown up. Uh, like I, like I kind of said in my statement, I've grown up in a locker room. So I've seen how people have come together and, and strive to for a, a certain goal and to, to go do things. And I believe that if people have the right intentions and have the right heart uh, and come together, that they can really affect uh, the world and make it a better place. Same thing that, I, that I've done uh, my entire life, and that is to, to talk to the people that have, have taught them their values and have taught them the right way to do things and, and, and listen to them because they've, they've had those experiences. And I'm, a 23, I'm 24 years old, so I, I'm, I'm maturing and learning things as I go. Um, but I, I've learned a lot from people like my dad and Latroy Hawkins and Coach Reedy, and and learned that that there's ways to handle things in order to get your point across and to and to respect people and and do the right thing. Um, but you have to to learn and have your own experiences to do that. And so just taking as much information as you can, making the best informed decision that you believe you can make, and uh, try to do whatever you can to to make the world a better place in every action that you take. With my statement and the video that I made, that it that stuff needed to be said. Uh, we needed to come together as a as a, a group uh, as players and show that we believe that Black Lives Matter and that that we believe that this needs to be informed and we need to be the role models to go out there and take that step. And obviously, um, it was great to to find the support that we have gotten from the Chiefs, uh, from me, uh, from Coach Reed, from Clark Hunt, Mark Donovan. Uh, I've talked to Roger Goodell, and and he and he has shown his support to us. Um, but it's 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 something where I'm always going to be informed of my decision and understand that there's going to be good good and there's going to be bad. Um, but if I believe something and I truly believe it, I'm gonna I'm gonna my like coach Reed says let my personality show, and I'm gonna I'm gonna stand behind my words, and uh, I'm gonna take whatever consequences that comes with it, and hopefully they're positive. Um, but I'm gonna be the best person that I can be first, uh, whatever that is. I've, I know Drew, I've known Drew for a, a pretty long time, just being from Texas. And I know that he is uh, a good person and he has a, a good heart. And obviously the, his statement missed the point and, and missed what was going on in the world today and took away attention from, from the movement that was going on and the peaceful protesting that was going on. But I think you see with his actions afterwards, and I, I, be, I believe with his actions moving forward, you will see the true person that he is and, and how much he cares about his community and how much he cares about the people that he's around. And uh, I mean, time will tell, but I, I, I've known from every interaction that I've had with him that, that he's always shown me the, the utmost respect. And I, I believe that his actions will show that uh, as, as we continue to move forward. Qualities that you could possibly have. And I was blessed to be in a, a smaller town, a smaller hometown where everybody kind of knew who I was. And I never was put in a situation where I, I, I felt like I was, I was not getting the same privileges as someone else. But as I've, I've grown older, I, I've, I've learned about it. And, and, th and through having a black side of my family and I've seen how, how they feel about it. And I've talked to people like uh, that, that are on that side of the family. And I've also talked to people that are on my mom's side of the family. And I just feel like I have a great perspective of, of, of how people feel and how, and how, how the black community feels of, of how they don't feel like they get the same, uh, uh, I guess, rights and, and value in some situations. And so my job, I feel like having my platform is to, to do whatever I can to, to just bring those, those feelings to light and let, let the rest of the world understand how people feel. And so that we can be a better community and a better, a better world.